Today's episode comes to you from a dog park. A what? A dog park. A park for dogs. A park for dogs. Why? We'll tell you about it. Hey, it's Scott and Jeff, and we're uh, talking about how to be happy, as mentioned. And, uh, you know, one thing that you can't ever discount is the, uh, the power of a, a beast. A friggin' cur. Talking, talking oxes from Oxnard. Talking about dogs. Right? Yes. Or cats. Or cat. Well, uh, or dogs or cats. Fish. A cricket. Any kind even. of pet at all, of course, uh, can bring anybody uh, joy. Which, which begs the question. I hear this all the time. The what's the best? It's it's the dogs versus cats. Oh, the dogs versus cats. Yeah, something? yeah. Well, so I'm curious. Obviously, we're here at a dog park in Draper, Utah, and it's uh, there goes a dog now. Right just, there. That's awesome. Beautiful. Yeah. And anytime you get out in a dog park, you're going to see all kinds of dogs, different breeds, different sizes. Mm-hmm. And certainly, you know, in the airports and in public pl- everywhere now, I say airports yeah. only because we travel a lot as public yeah. speakers. But we see dogs that aren't necessarily just seeing eye dogs anymore. Yeah. Because that used to be sort of the traditional animal that you'd see going through an airport or getting on a plane yeah. or accompanying his or her owner. Yeah. Now you have uh, therapy dogs. Yes. And that's uh, a, a thing. Yeah. A thing that's kind of controversial right now, now since that person, that? well, there was a person, I can't remember where it was, but they brought on a therapy peacock onto the plane. <laughs> and that well, just... Correct me if I'm wrong, but a peacock is not a dog, No, no, and I don't know what... So you're saying that therapy animals aren't just dogs, that they have all kinds of... Yeah, oh, yeah. You can maybe file for or petition. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Turn around. Look at that name. I know. It's a little Akita type dog. Cute little dog. dog, Yeah. He's coming over and sniffing our cameraman. Yeah. See, because we are at a dog park, they're all off leash. Yeah. And I would say even for those of you that don't have a dog, coming to a dog park and just seeing the dogs is... fun therapeutic and oh, fun yeah, because yeah. there's so many cute breeds and they run around now we're kind of earlier in the morning uh there's not tons of dogs here now but look at him go look at that I mean, it's just a full tear. yeah you know if you're looking for something let's say you're younger right let's say you're in high school and you're watching this right one thing i did in high school as my part-time job is i worked at an animal hospital yeah so you worked for a vet yeah, yeah. i worked for a vet all through high school all through college that was my part-time job every afternoon i'd go and i i did Everything short of surgery. I mean, I assisted in surgery. I checked people in. I gave dogs pills, gave shots, you know, did heart transplants. Yeah, mm -hmm, all the technical stuff. Hip dysplasia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, wiping up vomit. But, you know, think about that. That's that's something that, uh, for me, it was was a lot of fun. But I'm telling you, there there were dogs that, you know, were typically thought of as the nicest dogs in the world versus the meanest dogs in the world and it was just the opposite, the opposite. oh yeah i yeah. know pit bulls obviously get a pretty bad rep and they yeah. statistically speaking probably deserve it to some extent but i've also heard that if you it's based on their owners yeah that, that naturally a, a pit bull and those types of dogs they do inherently and instinctively want to rip your throat out <laughs> but if you'll love them and care for them yeah. and respectfully you know raise them they'll end up not yeah. Killing you in your sleep. Pipples were the easiest dogs to work on in hospitals. Now, so, why is that? So I, I don't know. They were they were so tough. You know, you'd put them up on the tray and they'd be just kind of sitting there. All right, do your worst. You know, and you'd sit there and you'd put the anesthesia in them to put them down to, you know, maybe neuter them or do something else, right? And they're just like, yeah, whatever. Look of course, at that happy little when dog. When they uh, See, woke he's up. He's happy. Yeah, and totally if he's happy. happy. Everybody else is happy too. You know, the other dogs that people traditionally think are the worst and the meanest dogs in the world, Dobermans and German Shepherds, but again, the nicest dogs in the world. So, And you grew up with a dog. You had Jessie. I know you had Jessie for how many years? Oh my goodness. I think she was about 14. She's a mix of a Bloodhound and a Doberman. And and she was almost kind of like a Border Collie type, really. I guess that's more or less what it was. But she was a Frisbee dog. I used to make videos with her against my G.I. Joes, you know, and oh yeah, it was- And you were the youngest in your family, so I know some of your older siblings were a bit older than you, mm-hmm. so it always seemed to me like at some point you weren't an only child because you had Amy as well. But mm-hmm. but kind of as the boy there, you it seemed like you and Jesse 
did a lot together. Oh, yeah, we went hiking, you know, and I'd have to clean out the little cockle burrs out of her tail when I got home and all that stuff. But man, it was so worth it. It was it's, just we have and we have two dogs. Yeah, now. and what are the breeds you have? We have two mini um, mini schnauzers, yeah. white mini schnauzers. White mini schnauzers. And uh, you know they can be kind of an energetic breed, but they're incredibly loving and kind. They have never bitten anybody. They'll bark just because they want to say hello. Yeah. We have schnauzers that live across the street, and they always come and bark at me in the mornings or, in the mornings or when I come out. <clears throat> And it sounds like a menacing bark, but I know that that breed is really just them greeting me. Yeah. And so I'll just stand yeah. there and wait for them to come over as they're barking and then reach down, which most people would say, you know, it's barking, don't. And then I know he just wants me to pet him yeah. and say hello. And then he yeah. goes waddling back to da -da 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 -da. his owner's house, yeah. you know. But, uh, but getting out, having a good time in the sun, but, you know, pets, animals, any kind that can bring you a little bit of joy. Mm -hmm. There's something about that, I don't know why. Yeah, you know, and I, I mentioned the, the top misconcepted or misconceptions that people have about dogs that are the meanest. Now here's the ones that really are the worst Okay. <laughs> in my experience. Yes. The worst breeds yeah. to have because they're just challenging. Yeah, yeah. Airedales. You probably, what's an Airedale? Look it up. It's and the curly hair. Yeah, right? yeah, so that was, that was one of them. The, the other two that come to mind instantly were Chows and those are you little know, they're dogs, like they're, kind they're, of. well they're they can be big though they got the oh. purple tongue oh, right, right, you right, remember right, judy yes. fair in high school they had chow dogs right so those are tough to work on but the sharpays the chinese wrinkle dogs oh man those were tough to work on why what i don't know there was just something about them they just really what is uh, this, you know, this big dog is so here? i don't know but we got poodles we've got um um, um oh this heck big thing. he's a bear uh, like no, a, i know it's it's, it's like a, a grizzly bear walking it's like it's it's a it's like a it's named after a mountain or something i can't remember <laughs> it's named it, after it, a mountain. seriously it's, it's he said he worked at an animal hospital I know, it's been he's so not an long. actual yeah. dogologist it's a himalayan that's what yeah, it is i think it actually yeah, the dogs are coming out in full force yeah they're they're having a good friday them. yeah but uh, if you're looking for ways to be happy consider a pet and and one other thing to do is look up on google and look for if you want an instant upper spend some time with puppies i know that around here they have that if you look online there's a place called puppy barn hmm. and there's other puppy places little puppy kennels places where they have just huge litters mm -hmm. and they gather up all these puppies and you can go and for like twenty dollars an hour you can just sit and play with puppies wow you go into their little pen you have to negotiate you know some of the nonsense the droppings yeah. But to just have a bunch of, remember that old Coke commercial years ago, or maybe it was a oh, Pepsi yeah. one, with kid, the little blonde yeah. kid, and he's just being overrun and yeah. tackled and licked and yipped and nipped yeah. by these adorable puppies. Yeah. There's something in that, having those little bodies against you, licking you, loving you. And you know, if you're allergic, that who makes cares? You happy. Right. Well, no, be careful. Yeah, I look for hypoallergenic dogs. Do it anyway. That's why we have the mini schnauzers. <laughs> they don't shed, it's just hair, it's not fur and they're hypoallergenic. So with all the allergies in my house, everybody's happy with these dogs. And that's the poignant part. Everybody's happy yes. with dogs, not cats. Mm. Well, we hope you had fun at this dog park with us today. What's your favorite breed yeah. of dog? Tell us, what have you got? How many do you have? How big are they? What do they weigh? What do they look like? We'd love to hear from you. Comment, I don't, like. I don't want to know all that. I do. Oh. Well, he's weird. Yeah. See ya.